talk about life and how it is and where it stands as of today. Now we've just come out of the EU, just come out of the EU. That was a good thing. For many it wasn't a good thing, but you've got to look at it. The people who voted us out of the EU was the older people who knew what it was like before we was in the EU. Now you've got protests by these young, young generation and these hippies and, and business owners because they're scared of being out of the EU. It's hip to be European, but fuck all that. It's our country. And to be honest with you, one of the main reasons, apart from business, one of the main reasons that we come out of the EU was the immigrants, yeah? Look what's happening. Look what's happening around Europe. Look at France. As they let these immigrants through Europe, ISIS turned around and said, we're going to send 10,000 of our little soldiers through undetected so they can start causing havoc. And they have caused havoc. Look at France. Look at Belgium. France is really getting the brunt of it. But you got to think why. You know, the French, the history between the French and the Muslims go back a long long time. I mean the French has been killing, the French has been killing Muslims for fucking centuries. They've banned the veil, they've built a modern throne back and it's, it's not really that surprising to me. We don't know the French history. So that is what I think they're taking a piece of their ass along with Belgium. But get this, you don't get none of them up in Poland. None of them. So, we don't want them over here. I mean, if we stayed in the EU and Turkey got in the EU, which would have to be a backhander payment because Turkey can't afford to be in the EU, then you could drive a car from Syria and you can drive that fucker all the way to the safe country, we haven't been hit yet, um, but let's hope we don't, but it's coming to us, I know we got all these 007 little James Bonds running about keeping our uh, country safe, but you know, it's, it only takes one crazy Muslim motherfucker, radicalised guy to, to change all that, so coming out of the EU also, we've lost our Prime Minister. Now, I did vote for ten, I did vote for David Cameron. Um, I thought he was a strong leader. Um, no one will agree with politics, but you know, I thought he was a strong leader. It was quite a surprise when I seen him step down. And now we got some baggy-faced bitch Theresa May, who follows in Thatcher's footsteps. So at the moment, we're a little bit fucked, so to speak. Now, I think that's what's going on today, and I thought I'd share that with you. So, um, yeah, have a good day, yeah?